alumni feel embarrassed that they went to Harvard, where for decades they had felt very proud of it. And to me, that was sort of a, a stunning line, that uh, people are just sort of fed up with what they see as inaction and response. It's not only the, um, the lack of immediate response after the attack, but it's the protests that keep happening. And there was a posting from Harvard Hillel that described an incident last week that is disrupting classes. Students don't feel comfortable going to the dining halls, going to university videos. events. Yeah. yeah, I've seen some videos where Classrooms. it's like... Classrooms. Yeah, you're just... You, students are... I can't, I can't imagine this ever happening at my college. It's like, you're in a class... And somebody comes in and, and just starts essentially Sorry. protesting, completely disrupting the class. It looks like the, the professor has no power, no recourse. The, per, and the students all just like sit there and, and let this happen. And the criticism is, how is this how is this free speech if it's disruption and hate speech? How are you getting an education if you can't participate in your classes? And that is what uh, alumni feel betrayed and, and that it's such a gutting reaction that they're willing to say this is this is not right and we're and and imagine how much people are paying or taking out loans to go to school and have this disruption so bring in the alumni because it's i mean we're seeing these protests and and issues at different college campuses um you and i were talking before we got going um 60 minutes did a piece and they talked about what's going on at columbia they also showed some of what how dartmouth is handling it so there's a lot of issues what specifically though is getting really um at the Harvard alumni, is it the way the university is ultimately handling all of this? Yes, they, you know, again, it's, there's no, there isn't the type of discourse and education that's going on. If students are, you know, as Mitt Romney and Seth Klarman described in a letter, they, they're, they're staying in their dorm rooms. Students are taking their names off of their door, of their names in dorms because they're afraid of repercussions. And that isn't a place where you, they recognize the Harvard that they attended you know, a decade or more ago. So it raises the question about whether or not this is, <clears throat> these alumni have any power. Uh, $51 billion. So yes, that that's is their endowment. That's Harvard's endowment. That is their endowment. Um, does it matter if a few alumni donate a dollar? It does. Rather than... Because wh where does that endowment come from? It comes from fundraising, and it's been invested well over time. And look, their 10-year return is not so great. It's the second lowest in the Ivy League. So they need money coming in every year um, to, you know, to help with those returns. Inflation is up. So whatever they're earning, uh, they, need, they need help to bolster their returns. Is private equity going to give them the returns that they had? You know, they're, they're still suffering from right. investment decisions that they made selling private equity on the secondary market after mm. the crisis. That, you know, their returns are not so terrific compared to their peers. Oh, but alumni are specifically, Janet, and help me here, they're, they want the administration, they want the president of Harvard University, what, to step up and actually do what? Um, perhaps say that these protests in classroom disruptions, hate speech versus free speech, is not is not the way to go. And what's the president doing? Um, there's a task force she she created. Uh, I, actually, it's it's called an advisory committee. And she's going to be in Congress. Is she it tomorrow? She will be testifying before Congress tomorrow uh, on this very topic. Um, she has said perhaps um, this should be within DEI. Um, and Bill Ackman, you know, a Harvard College alum and a Harvard Business School alum, yeah. you know, has has given a whole host of things that he would suggest her doing. And uh, what he had said on Twitter today is she hasn't responded, and it's been almost a month. 